Hello and welcome back to Rider Review Cement and Salts. Today, Eddie Hall was kind enough to send us his products. So we got three in the range. We got Beast Strong Cement and Salts, Beast Cement and Salts Stronger, and Beast World's Strongest Cement and Salts. We're gonna put these to the test, get them marked up and rated in our little flow chart thing we got, and we'll see what it's like. Doing moving events today, so I'm gonna take a whiff of one of these on each heavy ear set. So we're just warming up right now, so we've been doing it for a while. But yeah, you will go with the Beast Strong Smell and Salt first, and then uh, Smell and Salt Stronger, and then the world's strongest Smell and Salt. 140 kilos of pure British steel. It might be made in China really, but <laughs> I'm saying it's British, just for the video. on the yoke because I'm not in pain but obviously I'm getting aches from using the muscles so we're going to go ahead and try the first sweat and salt and see how it feels on this run it's only 190 kilos on the yoke but to me that's a big weight when I just had surgery on my stomach so we'll try it out see what it's like as always we'll start from here and bring it up like I always do as I say I'll start from here and sniff it but it never happens because I just love the smell of it so here we go this is strong sweat and salts the first in the beast range See that ranks with the sort of other ones that are for beginner lifters. Clears your mind quite a good bit. So it doesn't have that kick or punch you want. Yeah, baby. Yes, feels good. That speed and that yoke felt like I could really pick it up then. It feels a lot more, a lot better than what it did before surgery. Just being able to move freely and my legs don't feel like they're I'm running after each other. My core feels a lot better, so fingers crossed. We'll add some more weight and we'll see where this thing's going to go. Beast smell and salt. First one in the range. Definitely good. I'd say it ranks in the lower bit of what we got so far. Probably a bit higher than maybe one or two. We'll rank it at the end. But yeah, it wasn't a smack in the face, but it definitely cleared my mind and gave me what I wanted, so happy days. Number two in the beast range, stronger smell and salts. See if there's any better than the first one. We got 230 on here now, Chinese dentist. And we're just gonna go out in as fast as we can after smelling this. And then we'll have a little chat about it after. All right. Come on, that way. That's definitely got a stronger width to it. <laughs> Woo! That definitely gave me what I needed, that salt. It wasn't too strong, it was stronger than the first one. And uh, yeah, definitely think it had a different smell to it as well. It wasn't, it's hard to explain, but it was a bit more hard hitting of a smell rather than a whack in the face, if you get what I mean. So, so the, the smell altered. So we'll get that written down what we rank that as. The last set will be supposedly the world's strongest smelling salt. Tune in. So here we go. It's time to test the world's strongest smelling salts. There is a warning on the back of here saying, by opening this product, you accept all responsibility and liability to any injury and or death that may occur to yourself and any third party. Exposure to heat may cause a bottle to fizz and leak. Well, it's not a heat, it's pretty cold in there. So we're gonna try this. Hopefully they don't die or kill you. Who's videoing? Let's see how it goes. Strong. 
that is a very, very, very strong smelling salt. Probably a bit too strong in my opinion. It did put me off a bit. My nose feels like it's beating, but it's not. <laughs> so yeah, they could have the, the raw strongest smelling salt. Let's rate it and find out. So that's the review done. Obviously we got our figures worked out now. This is the first one, we're gonna give a 6.5. I think it's great introductory salt for beginners and it works really well. This one, we're gonna give a 7.5. Middle of the road, really good. And this one has an 8.2. If you want a really strong smelling salt that knocks your head off, then that's for you. It burnt my nose and it smacked me in the face like it's supposed to. Like I said all the way along throughout this process, we're not always going for the one that smacks you about. You want ones that give you clarity, focus for your lift. For me, personally, the strength of that put me off my yoke run. But if you like that kind of thing, it is for you. So that's the scores on the doors. Thanks to Eddie all for sending them along. And uh, as always, we're giving you an honest review so you can use what you want to use to get you for your training. Take it steady. Oi, you like, share, and subscribe.